made the individual 100 final in 99 ran in a handful in the 2000s and here he is it's quite a staggering achievement so Trinidad and Tobago Odeli Tuffy is on one Keston Bledman two Rondell Cirillo three Richard Thompson the fast man sub 10 seconds sub 99 actually he's on the anchor leg Brian Mariano on lead off for the Netherlands Chirandi Martina on two Lee Marvin Bonavassia on three and Hensley Paulina on four here are the Germans Lukas Jakubczyk on lead off Sven Nippels is on two Julian Rius on three Martin Keller on four here's Charles Silman on lead off for the Americans Mike Rogers goes down the back straight it's then on to uh, Rakim Salam Salam who's bat and change with Gatlin left fair amount to be desired Gatlin will be looking to get hold of that baton early and get after perhaps uh, Usain Bolt Nesta Carter bronze medalist in the individual on lead off Kima Bailey Cole is on two he finished fourth in the 100 Nikhil Ashmead fifth in the 100 is on three Usain Bolt the champion the world record holder is on four Adam Jamili can he round off a very satisfactory week indeed by collecting a medal in the relay Gavin Smelly on lead off for Canada Justin Warner will bring the baton home they went well in the heat did the Canadians and the Japanese who chased home the Americans in the heat Yoshidi Kiryu is on lead off Shota Izuka is on anchor Jamaica looking for a hat 20 years on have done it again will they pick up a silver medal or maybe even better in the relay Nesta Carter is flying. Silman's getting after him. Jamili, he's in the sights of the Jamaican. Let's look at the baton changes here. They all appear to have gone well. Great Britain are going very well indeed with Aikini Zariyiti. America perhaps just ahead here of Jamaica. This is the second change. How do they come out of it? Britain have had a couple of problems there. The United States flying around the bend. America perhaps have the lead here. It's a test for Usain Bolt. It's Gowell and Gatlin again. A problem with the exchange the second Jamaica, gap for the United States, Chambers comes through for Great Britain, and I wonder if that had been a better change for the second time today for the Americans on the final baton change. Big problems between Salam and Gatlin. Had Gatlin got the baton cleanly, I reckon Bolt could have been tested. But Britain, problems with the second baton change, yet they come away with a medal. Britain should be happy with that because let's face it, over the years, they have had their problems at championships. Well, it's yet another bronze for Great Britain, Martin. You said they'd had a bunch of bronzes in 2005, 2007, and 2009. Britain finished third, and they're third again here today. And frankly, when they make errors like that, the British, and still take the bronzes, to be fair, it's probably a comment upon the quality of the other five teams because they shouldn't have been allowed to get away with it. That change over there between uh, Ellington and Chambers was far from perfect. I think they'd acknowledge that. Usain Bolt, look at this final changeover from the USA. Oh, my word. Gatlin right into Bolt's lane. He was all over the place. Lucky there wasn't a collision. Bolt going well clear, pulling away from the uh, former Olympic champion. And Dwayne Chambers holding on really well there on the final leg for Great Britain to uh, stay ahead of the Can Canadians. Uh, Justin Warner, indeed, I think Chambers probably taking a metre or so out of the Canadians, who do indeed end up in uh, fourth place. Germany in fifth season's best for Great Britain, Canada and Germany, but uh, Bolt uh, 37.36 Martin, it wasn't uh, a world record, it was nowhere near the championship record several metres better than the rest of the globe
but I'm not sure if Gatlin would have stayed ahead of Usain Bolt, but had they had a smooth baton change, there had to be a chance there for the Americans. The second time today. Well, that win for the Jamaicans does confirm Usain Bolt as a, a three-time gold medalist at these championships yet again. It's a, a set he's become very used to, and he and uh, uh, Fraser Price, Shelley and Fraser Price, unique in that respect at these championships. So the sprint, the uh, trio of gold in the sprints available to them. Fabulous stuff, Martin. Uh, quick moment to reflect for you on the uh, nine days of athletics here as we see this relay go off the americans looked so strong didn't they through the first uh, couple of legs yes they did here let's look uh, here at the british change this is ikinius adiyiti handing the baton on to james ellington this was the first problem you're looking three from the top and ellington's gone too soon and you see the momentum is lost with the Americans and the Jamaicans sweeping down the inside and this really was a terrible hash by the Americans. You'll hand it to Dwayne Chambers. Reaching the final for the third consecutive decade. And he goes away with the medal too. Well, uh, predictable. A predictable from the Americans. Great Britain, though, had to work hard for that bronze under some pressure, and a couple of changeovers were far from ideal, otherwise they might have been a lot closer to the USA. Far from perfect. Quartet, just a couple of the changeovers were uh, far from perfect, but I think under recent circumstances, Martin, five out of the last six championships, the British have failed to get the baton round or make the final. We should be absolutely delighted with that British